So today is going to be our consultation portion of our free sessions that we get from Wellman Wellness Training. We just mostly focus on uh, pinpointing any type of areas that you may have for concern, specifically on an anatomy chart. Uh, we definitely go over your exercise history, kind of tells you what your muscle memory is. Uh, we'll go over some stuff you like and dislike about activity, your current level of activity, and we'll see if we need to kind of add some elements to help you kind of achieve optimal wellness and then the most important thing for you is going to be your top three fitness goals okay uh, and then we have a finishing portion for our nutrition all right so what's going to differ me from most trainers is we're really going to have a focus on recovery and maintenance aspects before after and in between workouts okay uh, the best way to really pinpoint that in a consultation is to look at an anatomy chart that we have right here okay so we're going to pinpoint every single area that you've had any pain injuries uh, tightness over the 24 years that you've been kicking around. Typically speaking, if somebody really wants to uh, allow their body to be in better alignment, uh, have better posture, which in turn will help uh, execute their movement patterns, uh, there has to be a specific cycle in which they kind of attack exercise. For a lot of us, we end up in a very fixed anterior position, so naturally we'll have an imbalance to the front part of our body, okay? When we start introducing global movements and uh, you know, we're looking behind ourselves or we're working behind ourselves, we have a greater instance of tightness, dysfunction, and that in turn can add a little bit of overuse, but in your case, it would be more acute injury because we've actually suffered impact, okay? Here, regardless, those things can steal your energy, they can mess up with your focus and your execution, and with that, you know, your hormones may get a little bit uh, skewed, if you will, and you can end up with a lot more stress hormones, which could in turn add you, uh, you know, gain weight and stuff like that. So let's go over your exercise history. This kind of tells me what your muscle memory would be like. Okay. okay. So there, let's go over literally all your exercise history, like even when you were a kid. Okay. Kind of tells me what your muscle memory is like. Yep. Also tells me what your experience with activity would be like. Fair. Well, I guess starting off as a kid, I mean, yeah. I played uh, community soccer. Okay. Usually striker or uh, goalie. Oh boy. How come they put your net really flexible? Uh, Good reaction. Like nice. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, just after that, I did uh, Taekwondo nice. uh, for only about a year. Okay. Uh, How often were you going to Taekwondo? Uh, usually once a week. I did I did Jiu Jitsu uh, oh, for about a year man. as well. Okay. When did you start Jiu Jitsu? Uh, that would have been about three years ago, okay. also for about a year. Um, Other than that, I played uh, competitive paintball for nice. six years um, from about 15 to about 21. Okay. We're seeing a pattern here, and it's all good stuff, right? Okay. A lot of explosive movement. Yep, okay. for sure. But we got to still uh, respect the fact that a lot of it is still very anterior holding a gun. Yeah. Okay. You're wrestling with somebody and doing jujitsu. Yeah, very so rarely are you getting yeah. behind you, right? Yeah. Um, jujitsu is probably a little bit better for that. But yes, and then the same thing with soccer. Obviously, you're moving forward. So, another question I like to ask: uh, What do you enjoy about activity? What do you dislike about activity? So, kind of tell me the training style that you'd like okay and this can get personal it can be really general yeah. it's totally up to more I would be more apt to do more endurance training than like weights and stuff like that For sure. um, I like doing body weight exercises okay because I mean I can do them wherever exactly There's, very versatile yeah absolutely yeah uh, those are probably the ones that I the biggest ones for me okay so if we can go a little bit more personal is there anything that uh, you know you would also get from exercises that give you a boost in self-esteem a boost of energy uh, like energy energy okay. would be a big thing um, and not um, just not being so tired all the time yeah so would you say would it be safe to say that with an increase in energy you would find yourself being more productive during the day I would think so okay yeah. awesome again the most important for, thing for me to kind of accomplish for you is to reach your top three fitness goals okay and that's obviously the most important thing for you as well the number one reason you would approach a trainer specifically myself would be uh, just personal fitness just yeah. just general well-being Getting into, getting into a, a healthy regime. Okay. Okay. Number two. Uh, would be stamina. Yeah. Stamina is a really big one. Okay. A lot of people are just, I want bigger muscles. Okay. You're, you're thinking more, uh, you know, functional, yeah. more relatable to everyday life, so you could be more productive. So that's great. My girlfriend already thinks I have big muscles. So that's <laughs> <pretty cool. laughs> awesome. Uh, the third one would be. Um, uh, what would I say for the third one? Um, Mobility, okay. Uh, mobility and and, uh, and posture. Awesome. 
those are the ones that's that's one that's kind of just been an underlying thing constantly that I've never really addressed. Right. So yeah, I mean you're right on track when you say that you want to increase those things. It's very important that you've been kind of aware of this, and that's exactly what we're going to take this because that's what's going to set us up for long term success. Good stuff. Okay. Awesome. All right. So yeah, I mean you're right on track when you say that you want to increase those things. It's very important that you've been kind of aware of this, and that's exactly what we're going to take this because that's what's going to set us up for long term success. Good stuff. Okay. Awesome. All right. So. 80% of what we do actually will be nutrition, okay? You can have the best workout plan in the world. Um, you could work on some of those elements we just talked about, and if your nutrition's crap, it'll induce inflammation, okay? It'll set your hormones on fire, and you, know, you can keep having more of a stressful cortisol, you know, environment for your body, uh, and you won't digest your food properly, so you're not getting the proper nutrients. So we definitely want to talk about nutrition. All right, so we're gonna break it down for you. You're getting a good consistent balance, what we're not getting is a balance of the style or the type of food that you're ingesting, right? Uh, this is very typical of people these days. Uh, what you're getting is a very high carb, high carb, high sugar diet, okay? And that can induce inflammation, cause a little bit of brain fog, make you feel kind of, um, you know, drowsy and stuff like that. Because you're not getting enough uh, vitamins, hydration, and enough protein in your diet and high concentration of healthy fats. Okay, awesome. Okay, so that pretty much concludes our uh, consultation portion. Stay tuned for our assessment with Wellman Wellness Training next time.